Hi, Tor Tor. Welcome back. I hope you guys are doing well. Welcome to my new subs. Thank you all for being here. And thank you all for my, um, you know, my people that have been here for a long time. Thank y'all so much. I appreciate the love and the support and your donations and your super chat. Super thanks. Thank y'all so much. Um, I'm sending that back to y'all tenfold. Okay, anything you need to know about me is going to be down below in the description box. And please be aware of the fake pages that are on here and on any other social media platforms, okay? So Taurus, this is going to be for anybody with Taurus placements in their charts. Make sure you all flip and you switch the roles. Take what resonates. Leave what doesn't fit for your situation, okay? So let's see Tor Tor. Let's see what's going on for my Taurians. Happy birthday, Taurus. How the fuck did I forget to say that? Well, actually, I didn't forget. Because if I would have forgot, I would have said it. But, you know, I had to give my little speech. But happy birthday, Taurus. It's our season. It's our season, Taurus. Okay. This is going to be a really good birthday season. This is going to be a really good rest of the year, I feel like, for a lot of us. So let's see what's going on, Taurus. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, gods and goddesses, please return any spell work, any dark magic that is sent to harm Tor Taurus and their loved ones. Me and my loved ones returning back to the sender. Block any interferences that could be stopped from the messages from coming through. Clear, concise, and precise messages from my Taurus collective. And protect me as I channel the messages here for Taurus. So let's see what's going on for Taurus. No, nothing flipped over. What's going on for Taurus? So we have put on blast for their toxic internet schemes. Okay, period. What else? Yeah, cyberbullying, spreading lies and causing conflict. Yeah, that's in the reverse. Oh, that's on the other side. So this is somebody that's trying to cyber bully you, and I feel like you're putting that ass on blast. Karmic love lessons that must be overcome. Someone is the chaser. They can't resist and want to be back. Difficult to control and will do whatever pleases them, period. Mm -hmm. The fuck? It's a hold something over others to get them to do their bidding. Counterintuitive. Everything they do has the exact opposite effect. Yeah, nothing is working. Something is not working. <laughs> so I feel like, yeah, this could be you, Taurus, coming up in this energy as somebody that's difficult to control. They say on the opposite side, they lose control easily and are not easily consolable. So somebody wants you to lose your fucking mind. They want you to go insane. Like, they really want you to, like, be frantic and out of control. And you're just sitting over here like this. You're in another world. You don't give a fuck about this bitch. You know what the fuck they're doing. Raggedy ass. What's up? Let's see. So, Taurus, you could have been in some sort of chaser energy in the past. You could be, it's a toxic twin flame journey, masquerading as true love. That's on the reverse side. <clears throat> so you and the, you could actually have a twin flame here, but there's karmic lessons to learn before you actually come into union. As the chaser, somebody is a twin with that chaser there. You could have been chasing something. Someone is controlling and won't release and set someone free. Yeah, so somebody... Someone likes when you're the chaser here. Okay, they, they like when you're the chaser and the, and not your twin, because your twin, they don't do stuff to you purposely. One, two, three, four on the clock. You guys will be seeing those synchronicities. But somebody, yeah, the ten of swords and the ace of wands, somebody's trying to get some sort of energy from bad-mouthing you, gossiping, or this is somebody that's hexing, cursing, whatever. They're trying to stop your creative energy from flowing or whatever. Yeah, the two of swords. What's a... Uh, <clears throat> let's put on blast for their toxic internet schemes yeah the four of cups and the ten of swords came back out gemini here we got cancer moon definitely go watch cancer that reading was crazy but the truth is is out <clears throat> okay but so um <clears throat> 
So I feel like somebody is getting rejected. So here they go with the slander. Like something is not working. I feel like you are very nonchalant. You don't give a fuck. You're very apathetic towards something. <clears throat> I feel somebody could be trying to cause you to miss an opportunity. Okay. I feel like you're rejecting. Somebody here wants you to stay stuck in the past and not reject any new offers or what they're trying to do in this case for some of you. This is a twin flame coming back around for some of you. They're trying to stop you from healing with the three cups down here. They're trying to stop you from healing certain things from your past in order to accept a, a, a real love offer from your actual person. Like, they don't want you to see that there's a new divine offer in front of you. They want you to stay stuck on the past and keep revisiting past situations. What's what's the four of cups here? But I feel like this is their clown ass in this energy because I feel like you're moving forward towards, or you better be. Yeah, the judgment here. Yeah, so somebody is, is upset or they feel <clears throat> dumb because I feel like with the judgment, you're being vindicated from something here. This could, could be you making a, a clear decision a clear, decisive decision to learn a karmic lesson and move forward. Okay. Yeah, because it's like it's like you're being tested with the judgment. This is like you being tested. So this could be a rejection wound here that you have that's being healed. I feel like you have rejected something. You made a clear decision with the judgment to reject someone or reject something. And you pass some sort of test. Is what I'm getting. We got Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sag. The judgment is definitely an awakening. It's decisiveness. You coming home to yourself. Forgiveness, yeah. Strong. Forgiveness is what I feel strongly here. Forgiving your past. What's the Four of Cups judgment? Yeah, the Ace of Pentacles. <clears throat> yeah, so you decided to go with something new, something stable. Mm. What's this Ace of Pentacles? Swords, Virgo, Capricorn, that's you. What's Ace of Pentacles? Some of you guys are awakening to your purpose here. This is definitely... Your money is very important here, Taurus. Somebody's trying to stop you from stepping into your purpose by confusing you with certain offers. And your purpose could be, obviously, your twin flame journey is a purpose. Yeah, the seven of cups in the reverse. So, Scorpio, Venus, definitely an illusion is being cleared. You're seeing something very clear. I feel like somebody's in for a rude of fucking awakening. They got rejected something because they try to, like, do something to you to make you choose different or go a different route. And I feel like you chose the right thing. What's the Ace of Pentacles reverse, Seven of Cups reverse? Yeah, the Five of Cups. Scorpio Mars here. Scorpio Venus, strong Scorpio. Seven of Cups in reverse is like someone that's superficiality. I mean, that's, <laughs> that's superficial. I feel like somebody feels like they missed an opportunity with you. Somebody try to trap you. What's the judgment here? Yeah, the six of cups in the reverse. Yeah, this is you healing something from the past. Like you've you've healed some sort of karmic shit. You're not thinking about the past anymore. You're not. Yeah, six of cups is in reverse is like growing up, maturity, leaving the nest, energy kind of like vibes. I feel like um. You're awakening to the fact that somebody's still holding on to your ass from the past. It could be multiple people. And I feel like you've made a decision to finally just say, fuck them. Or this could be something that's like healed within your sacral energy. You've healed from your past people or whatever you've been through in the past. And I feel like you're moving on. Hmm. What's the, um, what's the Ten of Swords? So yeah, somebody mad as fuck. They're mad. They're upset because the karmic cycles for you are over. Yeah, here go this bitch again. The King of Wands 
whoever this fucking man is, this damn man, Taurus, you know who the fuck it is. Could be a Leo, doesn't have to be. What's this King of Wands with this damn Ten of Swords? Or this could be, let's see, because I don't want to go in on their ass. Oh, that's a lot. Knight of Swords, Page of Cups, and the Two of Pentacles. Capricorn, Jupiter, we got Gemini, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay, so what I'm getting, okay, okay, yeah. Um, there's something that's balanced out here. Something, somebody is opening up to being vulnerable with you, Taurus, with the Page of Cups. Somebody's opening up to being vulnerable vulnerable with you here. Page of Cups is like something about your inner voice. Your inner voice is speaking to you about something. And the Knight of Swords is you staying focused and taking action. This is somebody that's a leader. Very quick energy. There was a big change or something that shifted here to come into balance for you. So this is causing an abrupt ending somewhere else. Some sort of illusion is broken. <laughs> like that, that seven of cups in the reverse is a reality check just period but some sort of illusion illusion has been broken and i feel like you have something positive coming your way somebody is taking action on how they feel okay this could be your counterpart let's see Ooh, give me more on this king of wands who is this king of wands right here yeah the ace of swords yeah this is like a breakthrough it's clarity so somebody here that you see very clear, yeah, the four of wands, your person, exactly. Okay, yeah, so there's a breakthrough, there's an aha moment, there's clarity. Somebody here, their inner voice is talking to them. Somebody's getting downloads, messages, their intuition is really screaming at them. So I feel like the, the Ace of Swords talks about concentration, a lot of focus, so is the Knight of Swords. Okay, the Two of Pentacles talks about being open, staying flexible, staying adaptable. Definitely balance. Okay, so this is good energy. Somebody could be taking action to come towards you, which is causing an abrupt ending somewhere else. Or this is why there's so much gossip, slander, people bad-mouthing you, whatever. Or this is why people keep hexing and cursing your ass. That Ace of Swords could be you calling someone out about a betrayal. Yeah, because, yeah, put on blast for their toxic internet schemes. I feel like, yeah, you're getting clarity that somebody, this is the person that's doing this shit. Okay, yeah, I'm getting, yeah, they're playing the victim. Somebody's really playing the victim here, but you see beyond somebody's bullshit. You know that they're attacking you. And you're doing a very good job at staying balanced and staying in control. But whoever this is, I feel like they're conceited, they're cocky, they're arrogant. And they're trying to show up as somebody that you... This is a fake ass bitch is what I'm getting. That energy switched real fast. <laughs> Somebody's a fake ass whore. And I feel like you see it. This is the person that betrays you, but they're trying to play innocent. Page of Cups with the King of Wands. Something not right about that. So I'm looking at it. I see what the fuck it is. <clears throat> so this could be you, Knight of Swords with the Two of Pentacles. You making big changes or seizing some sort of opportunity. Or somebody seizing some sort of opportunity to come towards you. But... That's like an aha moment. It's clarity. It's truth. Or this is you being honest with yourself about something. I don't know. But let's see. What's this karmic love lessons that must be overcome? Yeah, justice in the reverse. So bad karma. Injustices. Yeah, justice in the reverse with the high priestess. So this could be you clearing our past life karma. Possibly for some of you. Or there was some sort of injustice, something that was unfair, unjust to you. Could be a Libra here or a Pisces. What's karmic love lessons that must be overcome with the justice in the reverse? Yeah, the Eight of Swords and the Hermit. Oh, uh, somebody going to spiritual jail. <laughs> somebody going to spiritual jail for doing some shit or for slowing something down or whatever the fuck they're doing. But, um...
I feel like you broke through some illusion Taurus where there are certain people that's coming in your life. They, they, these are relationships where, yeah, where you've idolized love here. Things that never get off the ground after like, you know what I'm saying? This was some sort of hex or curse with the ten of swords here that you've broken. And whoever put that shit on you is getting ready to go to spiritual jail. Just period. Yeah, somebody just tried to fuck with your mental space. Go watch Cancer's reading. Someone could be under investigation here or being watched. But the hermit here, this could be somebody watching you closely. Yeah, this person here watches you closely or they, they analyze you, they study you. To try to play little mind games here. It could be a Virgo. That's exactly that kind of energy. Gemini Virgo here. We got Gemini Jupiter with the Eight of Swords. Somebody could be scared that they bad karma gonna catch up to their ass, and it is. It is gonna catch up to their stupid ass. What's uh the justice here in the reverse? Yeah. Ten of Pentacles, the King of Cups, and the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, this is what you're getting here. <laughs> this is what's coming in for you. And somebody here watches you to see if it's coming. So they can stop it, basically. That's what they did. But I feel like this person is used as a catalyst for your growth. So this person doing all this shit to you is going to help you grow. And at the end of the day, they ask him ready to suffer. <laughs> That's they that's they fate. That's they destiny to suffer. After doing all this shit to you and you level up here, they getting ready to go down for it. Whatever the fuck they did. So we got Taurus, Moon, Virgo, Mercury. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. Wow, yeah, the four swords, Queen of Cups. So I feel like you have a connection here where there's unconditional love that's coming in. Somebody truly that loves you, that cares about you. I feel like this person is very emotionally mature and available, okay? Ten of Pentacles is your inheritance. That's your spiritual inheritance. You're meant to get married. You're meant to be in love. You're meant to be taken care of, especially if you're a divine feminine, a woman divine feminine. You're meant to be taken care of by your masculine. This is a very... Well, you know what I mean by that. But I'm saying, like... You're meant to be loved properly. Like somebody is meant to value you in this lifetime. Somebody is trying to sacrifice you and make it so like people don't value, like they don't value you or see your worth or whatever. Somebody does see your worth. Yeah. Justice in the reverse. Somebody just won't take accountability. They'd rather be a punk ass pussy asshole and sit in fear. This is what they do. Like, somebody just don't want to take accountability for shit that they do, man. No accountability. They'd rather be a fucking liar and hide and watch you. It's try to stop you from getting this. What's the, uh... A lot of wealth and a lot of money is coming in, too. This is somebody you're meant to build a business with, a life with. Yeah, you're being gifted this person. This is a part of your legacy. So, what's the Eight of Swords? Yeah, the world in the reverse. Yeah, something failed. So now they're scared. They're scared as fuck because something failed. It didn't work. All this t all this shit that they did over this, over time. <laughs> all this shit that they did over time is getting ready to backfire. And they ain't even strong enough mentally. This person could need a psychiatrist. The hermit with the eight of swords, they're not even strong enough to handle whatever this backfire going to be. I'm like, you did all this shit. And you underestimated Tauruses or cross watchers fucking growth. An ability to get out of some shit, bitch. You didn't fuck with the wrong one. So the world is in the reverse. This is somebody here that's an underachiever. Someone that's disappointed. They're disappointed and they're scared. Let's say this was world in reverse. Yep, two of swords. They don't know which way to go. They don't know which way they're going, left or right. <laughs> oh, the world in the reverse. I mean, the two of swords, Libra moon. Somebody here, in order for them to even get like on the right track again in life in general, this person gonna have to face their fears and accept their fate, accept their failure, and they need to tell you the truth. That's what the fuck they need to do. Until then, they're gonna continue to get bad karma, and you're getting ready to shine right in front of this bitch ass's face. You're getting ready to be in their face, shining bright. That's what's the fuck getting ready to happen. Until they fucking come clean about some shit, they're gonna keep suffering, and I feel like that's fine. 
<laughs> like, that's okay because you getting ready to be happy anyways i feel like you don't give a fuck if they suffer or not like you can sit in poverty and a mental prison if you want to that's on your ass i'm not the one getting bad karma it's you bitch it's you <laughs> like please remember a lot of anxiety they stuck they had a stalemate what's the what's the hermit or this is what they try to do to your ass. Yeah, the Hierophant. What's the Hermit here with the Hierophant? Eight of Wands in the reverse. Yeah, so somebody is spying on you because they realize that you have unfinished business somewhere. That's what this feels like. Okay. I'm getting this person too. They missed an opportunity. This could be this person in a cult or a coven here. Hiding. This Hermit in the reverse. This could be like the tech guy. Or somebody here that... that sends back information to a cult like they're the runner boy they're a bitch ass nigga that's what the fuck this is that i'm getting or a bitch ass bitch whatever whatever's fitting somebody has some bad news here to deliver to a cult and now they're trying to hide out something didn't work is what i'm getting with this energy same energy i got for cancer but i'm also getting um the hierophant could also talk about uh, the male counterpart to the high priestess so you definitely have unfinished business with this twin flame of yours for some of you taurus if that's the case i'm getting different scenarios with this i'm also getting you had unfinished business with a past life lesson you were just tested or you're getting ready to be tested in order for you to learn something and this person watches you closely they like experiment on you to see if you're going to fucking fail so I feel like now something getting ready to backfire. That's why this person is sitting like they hiding out because something's getting ready to go back because of what you're getting. What you're getting ready to step into is a sacred contract, a sacred union. This shit that they then conjured up or whatever the fuck they did is getting ready to backfire. What's the eight of wands reverse? Somebody getting ready to experience a lot of delays, cancellations. Yeah, nine of wands. Something didn't go as expected. It didn't go as expected. What's the Eight of Wands reverse Nine of Wands? Sagittarius Moon. Period. The Emperor. <laughs> the Emperor. Aries here. Yeah. Because your masculine, for some of you, if this is your divine masculine, they're in the spirit fighting. They've awakened to them being a hierophant. You could be dealing with an Aries. Yeah, somebody's a spiritual warrior here with the nine of wands. Somebody has fully stepped into their power. That's that's resilience here. Or this is you and your masculine energy, Taurus, where you fully and completely stepped into your power. You fear nothing. <laughs> like you're moving with boldness, assertiveness, courageousness. Like you're very confident in the move that you're making. Yeah, so somebody's watching you and they see that someone's coming back. They're spying. They What's the hierophant? Yep, the devil. Yeah, what's the hierophant with the devil? Capricorn energy. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, whoever this obsessed ass fucking loser is, this greedy ass bitch, the devil with the four of pentacles, this obsessed, controlling punk, is the person that's spying on you. And they're trying to hold on to you for their life because you you affect their finances. You affect their money. Them holding on to you is really important. Because if they can't hold on to you, they ain't got no money. <laughs> So you basically control their, their life. I just said that for Scorpio yesterday. You control their livelihood. If they ain't got you, they ain't got nothing. What's that song by Alicia Keys? I ain't got you. Yeah, Song called Some people want it all, but I don't want nothing at all. If it ain't you, baby, if I ain't got you, baby. What's that song? I love that song. Some people want diamond rings, on them, on everything, but everything means nothing. If I ain't got you. Something, something, I forgot. What is that? If I ain't got you, it's something else. I, I think that's not the title, but it's something like that. So anyways. So yeah, Capricorn energy strong. The devil in the four of pentacles, definitely Capricorn. Hmm. 
Yeah. So this is your divine mat. Who this emperor? Yeah, the three of pentacles. Yeah, two of wands and the ten of cups. Yeah, this and the emperor spoken out. I just seen the empress. So that's 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 just your divine masculine here. This person is coming in for a collaboration or a partnership. That's who you're supposed to be working with. You and this person has learned have learned your lessons, and now you're getting ready to go into a union. Definitely with the justice in reverse. By the yeah, this king of cups could be a spirit guide. I was getting ready to say. This could definitely be a spirit guy here or somebody just did something recently to your union to confuse you and now they're getting bad karma for it. And this is going to be the last straw for their ass. And this is going to be the last fucking straw for this bitch. They didn't over welcome them. They didn't overstay. They stay. Bitch, it's, it's done. You did your part. Move on, bitch. What's the someone is the chaser? The six of wands. Leo, Jupiter. What's someone is the chaser? They can't resist and want to be back. Yeah, the lovers. Okay, in the reverse. Gemini energy. <clears throat> So a disunion, somebody here just still don't take accountability with the six of wands here and the lovers in the reverse. Someone has really bad trust issues with the lovers in reverse. Definitely uh, somebody here could sleep with a lot of people. Like they're all over the place. Whoever this is likes a lot of attention. They feel like they need to use other people to boost their energy to boost their self-esteem this is a loser what's the lovers in the reverse so this could be this this could also talk about two six of wands with the lovers reverse is how you successfully overcame a challenge with breaking some sort of karmic cycle with these false lovers okay you've definitely came out successful when it comes down to breaking karmic cycles so now somebody can finally get their karma because you didn't pass your test this person's life and livelihood was dependent on your fucking failure in your life <laughs> and you didn't fail so now what what's the six of wands leo jupiter yeah the four of wands and the three of wands yeah this is incoming here a lot of strong aries aries sun aries venus yeah th this is a union here this is a twin flame union that's coming together some of you guys are also celebrating getting a home you could be moving, traveling, three of wands, four of wands. Yeah. There's a lot of growth and expansion here. You've overcome something. The four of wands talks about a celebration. If you don't have a, a, a twin flame, you could definitely be going into a higher level soulmate connection where there's going to be marriage. A lot of growth, a lot of expansion here. A lot of stability, security, a lot of celebrating. This is like a, a, a celebration here or a reunion. This could be something going on with your family. Some of y'all having a housewarming party or a gathering. There could be a party coming up or something for some of you. It is your season, Taurus. <laughs> this is going to be a really good season for y'all, man. I'm telling you. Mm-hmm. Yep. Very nice energy. Yeah, big love here. Ace of Cups, the High Priestess, the Moon. Yeah, you can sense that something is coming, and it is. Yep, the Moon. What's the lovers in the reverse? The Ace of Cups. Yep, you've completed karmic cycles. I swear that's what that lovers is in the reverse. You're done dealing with karmic energies. People that don't want to take accountability, or even if they do, they're still karmic to you, and you're over it. Like, you're not with the lovers reverse. And the Ace of Cups. I feel like whoever this is is giving like they're going around sleeping with new people. This person will forever do this because they just they want to keep using you as they want to keep playing the victim. That's what the fuck this is. What's the lovers in reverse Ace of Cups? Yeah, they're a fucking liar. What's the lovers in reverse Ace of Cups? Five of Wands here, yeah, and the Nine of Pentacles. <laughs> this person gonna forever be looking for other people that can take your place this person they need to heal this is a heartbroken ass ex that you're moving on from they mad as fuck that you leaving their ass you freed yourself from their clown ass the tie with this karmic situation is over them needing to them being a catalyst to your growth and testing you spiritually is over with because you didn't pass all your you cleared out your karmic debt that's what i'm saying so there's that there's no more use of them in your life they're useless at this point bitch the bitch did their job they hexed you, they cursed you, they badmouthed you. 
They did what the fuck they were supposed to do to try to stop you from doing something and it didn't work. So now they're getting ready to be sent up out of here. You're free with the Nine of Pentacles. They just need to let you go. Like, bitch, let me go. Unhand me. <laughs> and all these new people that they're getting, they're getting like new people that they're with to fucking compete with you or... This could be you, like I said, this person try to send negative energy your way or try to keep you in some sort of karmic cycle. All because they don't want to take accountability for what the fuck they did. You could have a very successful business here with the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody was trying to keep you single, keep you in negative cycles. You're free from that. And bad karma is getting ready to strike for trying to stop you from getting this damn Ten of Pentacles. For trying to slow you down or just being an idiot. Excuse me. What's this uh, difficult to control and will do whatever pleases them? This could also be, I'm getting that this could be this masculine here. With them, they could be on the chaser end. You could have been on the runner end of the situation here, Taurus. They could be getting ready to chase you now. And when they chase you, I feel like something is going to not be just chaser runner again. I feel like this is going to be a real union that's going to be lasting a very long time. This person is considering you to be their new love because something possibly never got off the ground between you and your twin for some of you. So they're, they're, they're seeing you as their new love. This bitch, whoever they're, they're, they're getting rid of, they're competing with you. You're in the Nine of Pentacles. This is you, Taurus. So they're competing with you. They're fighting. They're mad. Both your ex and they ex is mad as fuck. So what's up? Uh, What's difficult to control and will do whatever pleases them, period. Yeah, the temperance. And that's factual. Like, bitch, you don't control a fucking thing. Sagittarius, what's difficult to control and will do whatever pleases them? Yeah, the six of swords. <laughs> so that's your guys moving you forward here, Taurus. Your guys are moving forward. This is like accepting a lesson and departing, moving forward in your life. Definitely security stability is coming in balance this is restoration harmony a lot of healing so spirit is moving you into peaceful and calmer waters here just stay strong and keep moving forward because I, I feel like somebody is trying to yeah five of swords the magician the king of swords and the seven of swords they're trying to throw you off yeah the the queen of swords they're trying to throw you the fuck off and i feel like you're unbothered you already know what people are trying to do what's the temperance four swords yeah resting recouping so i feel like right now that's what you're needing to be doing resting regrouping recouping okay maybe go on a vacation get some sun what's the temperance with the four swords that'll definitely help balance your energy or libra jupiter you could have in your chart Taurus. yeah the fool somebody could actually be taking a vacation Somebody doesn't give a fuck. They're they're literally breaking free and they're going towards a new beginning. Somebody's planning for their future. Four swords with the fool. Somebody's traveling. They've accepted something as a lost cause and they're really moving on. Like they don't give a fuck about their past. Nine of cups and the ace of wands. <laughs> this could definitely be a pregnancy announcement. Okay. This could also be talking about obviously your creative endeavors. But I feel like somebody's heartbroken because they know that you're about to go have sex with somebody else. <laughs> somebody knows that you're getting ready to go pleasure yourself or <clears throat> or be happy. You're getting ready to get your wish fulfillment. You're passionate about somebody and you're going to get it. Or you're passionate about what you do or whatever the fuck this is. Definitely travel here. Somebody is sad as fuck about this, honey. And oh, well, <laughs> Yeah, the, there it is. The Empress confirmation. Child, the Ten of Cups behind it. I feel like... <laughs> I feel like this is meant to happen. Like, there's no stopping it. For those of you that resonate, you resonate. If you don't, you don't. Fuck it. But I'm just saying. What's the Six of Swords? <laughs> the Ten of Wands? Yeah, this is a lack of fun. A lack of spontaneity. <laughs> Some of you guys are backed up. You're sexually frustrated, Taurus. Okay. Spirit could be guiding you to just have fun. This could be like a lot of responsibilities you have. A lot of shit that you just need to release. Or you could be releasing, yeah, and letting it go, walking away. You're done with something. <clears throat> 
This could be a lot of uh, releasing of emotions or crying. What's the Six of Swords with the Ten of Wands? Somebody is packing and they're moving. That's what somebody's doing, like they're moving or something. The moon in the reverse. Somebody is trying to surprise you with something. This person is trying to surprise you with something. Or this is you, Taurus. But the moon is in the reverse. So this is like moving away from fear, anxiety, stress. <laughs> okay. Something here being revealed. What's the moon reverse? What's the, what's the moon reverse? Yeah, two of wands in the reverse. Somebody could be hiding the fact that they have a sex addiction. Or they hiding the fact that they have some shit. Okay. <clears throat> two of wands in the reverse is to a sudden departure. I feel like somebody is suddenly departing and leaving something behind. And they're moving. All right, like they're confident about what they're doing. What's the center wands? The five of swords, Aquarius, moon, I mean, Venus. Yeah. Yeah, somebody's not scared of some fucking person no more. And even if, I feel like, it's not necessarily fear. It's like when somebody abuses you or does little crazy shit to you, it's abuse. Uh, okay, like just period. Somebody's a bully. They're a bully and I feel like they're a loud mouth hoe. But that five of swords talks about too, fighting back, standing up for yourself. So that's what somebody's doing and they're releasing and they're letting go and they're moving forward because it's a difficult to control and will do whatever pleases them. So that's what somebody's doing. They don't give a fuck about a karmic bitch that's trying to control them or this is you. You're moving on and you're going to get your wish fulfillment and that's that. That's that, Taurus. Give me a car spirit that's in alignment with the spray for Taurus. Somebody's trying to win at all costs. And I feel like, bitch. Well, give me a car spirit that's in alignment for Taurus. <laughs> So we have Black Moon, Lilith, and Cancer. Honor your emotions. Yeah. Cybation, purify, cleanse, and release. I think Capricorn had that. Definitely go watch Cancer's reading. Honor your emotions. The universe wants you to know that your emotions are valid and this is your time to heal and to honor them. When this oracle card comes to you, the cosmos is asking you to stop neglecting your own emotions for the sake of others. Home is your sanctuary where you should feel safe. It's time to review and clear what is not aligned in your home life and emotional world. Symbolized by the crab, the zodiac sign Cancer is an emotional water sign ruled by Mother Moon. When Black Moon Lilith is here, the mother is a main character in your life. She may have projected her emotions onto you, making you responsible for soothing her and neglecting yourself. Or your mother may have been a dominant force in the family, normalizing emotional strength and matriarchy. Diana, Princess of the Whales of the walls or whatever, had Black Moon Lilith and Cancer in her relationship house and consequently a turbulent life with the royal family. So it says both your thoughts and emotions make up your energetic frequency. Emotions are a barometer. Emotions are a barometer for what is aligned for you and what is not. If something does not feel right, make decisions using your intuition. So it says dark divine feminine shadow work. Traditions exist only because one person started them. Sometimes being the catalyst for change isn't the most comfortable, but you are bringing healing to your family line. Visualize sending love to your child self, closing an old wound. Yeah. This is a release here. The moon in reverse, ten of wands. This could be a sudden urge to cry with the two of wands in the reverse. Whatever was restricting or was on your sacral chakra, you're releasing it. You could actually be feeling like your sacral chakra doing something. It's cleansing itself right now. <clears throat> Yeah. Then we have dark divine masculine shadow work. Your mother is the first relationship you have with a woman. Taking the time to understand your dynamic with her can unlock any blocks you are experiencing with the divine feminine. Mm. Home is your sanctuary and comfort zone. Create the nurturing environment you deserve. Yeah. 
So Taurus, this is your reading. Very nice reading. So like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bell on. Make sure you press the all button so you won't miss my reads. And I will talk to y'all later. Bye, Tortor.